Cultural Variations in Introductions Understand the World's Business Etiquette Hey there, language learners! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of cultural variations when it comes to business introductions. It's essential to remember that our ways of greeting and introducing may vary greatly across cultures, and understanding these nuances can help you make a great first impression. In many Western countries like the United States, Canada, and most of Europe, the handshake is a standard form of greeting in a business setting. When you meet someone for the first time, extend your right hand, make eye contact, and give a firm but not bone-crushing handshake. Tip: In these cultures, a firm handshake often conveys confidence. In Japan, the bow is a traditional form of greeting and showing respect. There are various degrees of bows, from a slight nod of the head to a deep bow at the waist. In a business setting, a medium bow is typically appropriate. Tip: When bowing, keep your hands on your thighs and maintain a straight posture. In India, the traditional greeting is the namaste. It's done by pressing your palms together at chest level and slightly bowing your head. It's a gesture of respect and is often accompanied by the word, Namaste. Tip. Namaste is a versatile greeting, suitable for most occasions in India, be it casual or formal. In the Middle East, it's common to greet people with a phrase like, Salam Alaikum, Peace be upon you. Physical contact, such as a handshake, might be followed by placing one's hand over the heart. Remember, though, that in many Middle Eastern cultures, men and women who are not closely related or married avoid direct physical contact in public settings. Tip: It's always best to wait and see if a woman extends her hand for a handshake before initiating one. In many cultures, the order of names is crucial. For instance, in China, the family name comes before the given name. So, Wang Li would mean that Wang is the family name, and Li is the given name. It's respectful to address someone using their appropriate title and family name unless they've indicated otherwise. Tip. Always listen closely when someone introduces themselves and try to replicate the pronunciation and order of names as accurately as possible. Understanding the intricate dance of introductions across cultures can greatly enhance your global business interactions. The key is to observe, respect, and when in doubt, ask. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you'll navigate your next international business meeting with ease and confidence. Until next time, happy learning!